And hello Entropia, Infinite Easy here, the original watery noob, here to bring you a video on the new Battle Simulator 2.0. It's been out for a few months. I've had a couple of my viewers on Twitch and friends ask me to put out another Batsim video um, after the changes, so we're going to do that today. Um, if you're not familiar with Battle Simulator, you will be by the end of this video. So to access it, you must be on a planet, not in space, not in PvP. Um, I think you can do it on Crystal Palace as well as FOMA, but not Howling Mines. To access Battle Simulator system, event list, go to global events. We have a little bit of lag going on. Battle Simulator, click right here, and it's six pad to get you in. So we're going to register, accept, and here we go. Now, there are a couple bugs with Battle Simulator. We'll work through those as we go. Your ammo is included completely, just like the original Battle Simulator. Your stats are the same as mine. So we're going to work through from the start, count down here. There is a bug. Sometimes when you enter, you're slowed. We're not getting that this time. For that bug, I would just walk forward, let one of these hit you a couple of times. I killed two of them. Let one of them hit you like once or twice, and uh, it fixes that bug. So there's always those three mobs there. There's going to be a turret right here. It's always a Gen 1. Two to three hits will kill. Gen 1 spider right here. Two hits down. Level 1 turrets right here. And two to three hits. There's going to be a level 1 turret right here. Just arc over. Two to three hits. This spawn here can be Gen 1 spiders. It can be the little jumpy bastards as well. Um, currently we got Gen 1 spiders. And then there's a Gen 1 spider that spawns right there. These two turrets on the left, just walk towards them. And uh, yeah, two to three hits per turret. In turn, face your attention to this turret. It's always a Gen 1, two to three hits. There's gonna be two or three mobs that are Gen 1 around the corner. Two to three hits. And two to three hits. Gen 1 turrets here. Two to three hits. And just push past them, walking towards them while you're shooting, and they'll go down. Uh, in this room, I believe a Gen 2 spider can spawn, but uh, I'm not totally positive um yeah i think that's a gen 2 right there i usually focus this turret right here we are lagging a little bit and uh then i work my way around the room the rest of the turrets in here are all gen 1 there's four of them so you can take it at whatever tactic works best for you this wasn't my uh best performance in this room and we are lagging a lot so and we didn't even kill that turret i always kill that one first so we'll flip around take out this gen 2 spider on our way to the door and flip around there is proximity damage on the rocket launchers but it's usually best to shoot them right in the face uh, so these two turrets are always gen 1 there is another turret right here behind the rock that can be a gen 2 typically it's a gen 1 mob spawns can be three gen 1 spawns a gen 2 spawn um, and I believe the little jumpy bastards can spawn as well so there's our gen 2 turret we'll take that out and then a gen 2 spider so depending on crits, the spiders, Gen 2 can be 4 to 6 hit if you crit and get lucky a little bit quicker. So there's going to be 2 or 3 Gen 1 that are always here. They're going to come around the corner and just aim straight out of their face and drop them down. Uh, these two turrets here are always Gen 1. There's our third spider. And you can take your time with them. There's two other spiders at the end of the room. They're always Gen 1. And just take your time with them. Try not to over aim. You'll be fine. Um, this guide here, this is not a speed running guide. If you're wondering if it is, it's not. You can leave right now. If you want to learn completion though, this is a good completion guide. God, we are lagging a lot. Uh, so Gen 1 spiders in here. And then another Gen 1 spider right here. And behind it is another Gen 1. Gen 1 turrets on this wall. I do not believe Gen 2 turrets ever spawn here. So just take your time with them, two to three hit points. And we, <laughs> we got crit, nice. Um, this wall here is always Gen 1, so there's another turret uh, parallel from them, which is can be a Gen 2, I believe it's mostly a Gen 2. And then there's a Gen 2 spider at the end of the hallway. So I take those two turrets out, then I'll aggro the spider, and just sit here and just get good shots on him, you know. 
then we'll flip around we'll kill the uh, gym 2 turrets and push our way into the next room there's usually gen 1 spiders right here and a gen 2 spider to the left but it can be three gen 1 spiders on the left uh, this time we got the gen 2 so we'll just take our time stand here I'm not even gonna kite him just a little bit maybe gen 1 turrets on the left We are moving a bit slow because of the lag. Uh, in this room, we're going to have... This can... I believe this can be different. I believe it can be three Gen 1s. Uh, or two Gen 1s with a Gen 2. So we'll just take those out with our time. This turret here is usually a Gen 2. I don't think I've seen a Gen 1 here very often, if at all. Gen 2 comes from this way. So again, you know, stand your ground and usually you can get it down before he gets to you. If he does get close, just kite around him. You know, they have a, a range of 6 meters or so, so try not to get too close. Okay, so in here, th there can be a lot of spa spawns here. It can be a Gen 2, which it is. It can be 3 Gen 1s, or it can be little spiders. If it's the little spiders, I usually just launch a grenade in and rush. Uh, Gen 2, I'll focus the Gen 2 turret uh, first. The, the 3 Gen 1s, I would just nuke those real quick and then do turrets. Um, but everything else, usually prioritize, prioritize turrets first. Here, it's a Gen 1 with uh, two flanking, I'm sorry, Gen 2 with two flanking Gen 1s. So you just pr press <laughs> up on the hill and uh, just take them out at your convenience and then move on to the next Gen 2. Um, usually you're moving forward a little bit the whole time. And then there's another Gen 2 right here. Those are always static spawns. And uh, take those out as you can, and then we'll move to the turrets. This one is usually Gen 1, this one's usually Gen 2. So I just shoot and move, shoot and move, and it goes down. Uh, various spawns here, it can be a Gen 2, it can be 3 Gen 1s. Uh, it can also be little spiders too. So depending on what it is, situational, if it was Gen 1, I would probably just push forward. Uh, but on that one, I just sat there and kite, because they can hit 90. On the boss here, I'll punch him down a little bit flip over, put a round into this one here, take out the turrets. This is my approach on it. There's a lot of ways to do it. These are usually Gen 1. These over here can be a pain in the ass. They can be two Gen 2s, uh, or it can be Gen 1s, or it can be a Gen 1 with one Gen 2. We're lagging our ass off, so it's gonna make this a little tricky. Try to get as many shots in as we can around the corner. Hopefully take it out, we did. So I usually just go down the hallway, run for a little bit, flip around, start pumping rounds into them. Wow, we are lagging. And done. So if you want, you can repair. Um, or heal, excuse me. There's a healing pad here. If you stand on it, it's pretty slow. It's 30 HP every 5 seconds or something. It's extremely slow. Um, so if you don't need to repair or heal, don't. Uh, this can be a Gen 1. It can be 3 Gen 1s or a Gen 2 single. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a Gen 2 with two flanking ones. Uh, with the graphics up, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a Gen 2 right here. And we missed him. But I pump a couple rounds into him. Gen 2 turret on the left. I don't believe I've ever seen it be a Gen 1. So, punch it that way. Gen 1 turret here. Um, I believe this one can be a Gen 2, and I believe this one can, but it's not very often. This one here is always a Gen 2. All right, now we move into our second boss room. This turret here, Gen 2, typically can be a Gen 1, though. Same with this one. And then there's two other turrets on the other side, which are usually Gen 1s, if not always. And there's two waves in this room. So when you get the boss down to a certain health, um, other spiders will spawn. Not doing very well in this bat sim at all. A very slow one talking too much and standing still too much we're lagging too much all right so there's going to be a, one spider that pops up but it's basically a turret it could have been a pop-up turret coming out of the ground but they made it a spider that doesn't move and then there's uh i believe one gen one that pops up and two or sorry two gen ones and uh one gen two so take those out at your convenience move around put shots into the boss and then exit through the hallway over here when you've cleaned it up
Uh, right here, there's usually a Gen 1 or 2 turret right here. So what I do is I push the turret. And wow, this lag. Push the turret, kill it, pop one on the ground, pop one on the ground. And then clean them up as you're kiting down the high hallway. You can you can kill them first and then do the turret if you want. Whatever is easiest for you. Once you get used to it, it's not too bad. Oh, he stuck us. He stuck us for 67. Classroom. So, all right, as we come in, there's multiple different spawns here. Um, I usually pull out my grenade launcher, press two, pull out your grenade launcher, lob one over. If there's a cluster of the little jumpy bastards, uh, that'll usually clean them up and just get them out of the way for you. Um, I typically circle from around counterclockwise and just focus turrets, focus turrets. They're all Gen 1s. I don't think I've ever seen a Gen 2. And uh, this is a three wave event in here to clean up. Kill those, take out the mobs, and then we'll focus boss. It's easier. A lot of people, I mean, I know people that won't even kill the mobs at all. I've done it before, but you get so many of them and you're sharing damage. That it can take a long time to kill them you know when you're hitting them for 10 12 each um, one tactic a lot of people use they'll shoot the box instead of the boss himself um, I prefer to shoot torso but sometimes I'll get lazy okay so he's down far enough that we have to kill a generator because now he's shielded so um, take that out again clean out the mobs there can be turret turret spiders that pop up here's one of them are we slowed yeah we are this is a bad situation. You don't want to be slow because, as you can see, those hit for a lot. I'll pull out my grenade launcher, get some splash damage, which slows down all those mobs that are chasing us, and then just clean them up. Now that he's slowed, he should go down really quick. And the Gen 1s, of course, go down. Uh, if you find yourself in a real sticky situation in here, what the hell was that? Splash damage. Safety rock. Yeah, safety rock. You might have seen this in some of my streams. This is the safety rock. It's good because the mobs don't spawn near you, and you can kind of just play with the boss over here. Uh, so we have little jumpy bastards. A lot of ways to deal with them. Uh, if there's a lot of them, it could take a long time to kill them. You can use your grenade launcher. Um, they don't hit hard, but they hit often. They slow you down. If there's a bunch of them, it takes a long time to kill them. And we are lagging our butts off. This is, uh, we haven't been lagging all day. Maybe I should have, uh, re-logged before we, uh, got in. So, safety rock method is pretty good. Um, if you played a little better than me, you won't get hit at all. Um, you can also stand on top by the gens if you want. Um, you, there can be mobs that spawn up there. Um, or you can just kite around them like this. You know, there's a lot of different ways to do it. It kind of depends on your play style. I use all of them. So whatever floats your boat, whatever suits you best, you know, run it a couple times, take your time, don't try to rush it, don't worry about those six and a half minute top speeds, you know, my best time is only nine minutes and six seconds, uh, most of the time I, I don't even care about my time, you know, it's all about the guns, it's about the completion, we didn't get a bonus loot or anything, so you know, we might pull a gun, we might pull output amps, you know, who knows what we'll pull. So, as you see, this method works pretty good. Wait for him to fire, circle one way or another, and we're done. So, right click, loot the boss, see what we get. We get, uh, we got a bat sim R1 and a little bit of shrapnel. So, 12 minute, 18 seconds. My best time today was 10.29. Like I said, don't rush it, there's no point. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, if you press left alt, you can move your map around and resize it, just like you can out anywhere else. Um, so a lot of people do that when they get in, they'll resize their map, you know, to suit them how they want. And you can do that anytime through the run. So thanks for watching, everybody. This was uh, my Batsim 2.0 walkthrough. You guys have a great night out there. And hop it up. Peace out.